To my wife Linda, I miss you already. Also, thanks for the watch. It's the only thing that reminds me of you. However, I'm about to fight for freedom. I'm about to fight for this country. I can't wait to make a difference for the first time in my life. I'll write to you as much as I can. We're getting close to the beach. I love you, John. To my wife, Linda, it's only been a day, but I saw many people die. I feel like I could have done more, but I guess I had no choice but to run. I watched many people lose their lives. This watch is the only thing that gives me hope of humanity. Tomorrow, we start to search for more US soldiers so we can plan an attack on the capital in the next couple of days. I'll write to you later. I have to catch up on some sleep. Love, John. Soldiers are just around the corner, man. Keep your head up. We're almost there. Just gotta keep walking. Maybe get you a hat there, Private. No one wants to see that hair of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. Hey, get up, get up. We're under attack. Let's go, gentlemen.
To my beautiful wife, Linda, I miss you. I've started to lose feeling for the reality of war. I've seen many people die. I myself nearly died today. Getting close with somebody could ultimately lead to worse pain, as at any moment they could die. However, I must push forward for my men. With that in mind, I'll write back to you soon. Love, John. Hey, John, put that diary down and join us. <laughs> uh, just the way I see it, I just want this all to be over. See my family, friends, not to mention a nice little bird joint by me. And they got a pretty little waitress as well. Her name is Rachel. Gonna make a move when I see her next. Not sure about that one, Gerald. You got a face only a mother could love. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What about you, John? You got anybody back at home? <laughs> I just got a wife back at home. Our hope is to have kids when I get back. But hey, I might have to save Rachel from you. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're going to camp out here until we get more soldiers. Sit tight, get comfortable. It might be a while. No better way than I'd want to spend my afternoon than with you fine gentlemen with our lives on the line, smoking a cigarette. You never told me, Gerald. What is your first proposal plan to getting Rachel to go out with you? See, a gentleman like yourself wouldn't know how... To Linda, I've decided to write to you this final letter. I'm sorry. So sorry for being a coward. Letting my men down. Letting my men die around me. If I make it home, I will only be half a man. And not a hero. I don't feel things like I used to. The difference I have made for this country feels small. Private John, come here please. Listen, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this kid. Our sniper got killed in the last battle. Simple as it is. Do you think you can shoot a sniper? Yes. Good. Grab that sniper behind you, and I'll tell you what your mission is. Hi, Prophet. Look through that scope. That right there is where Norman Lucky will be standing. Your job is to kill him. Once you do, 
Everybody will start moving into the capital and start to free the civilians. My question to you is, can you do it? Yes, sir. To Linda. Sorry I didn't finish the last letter. I've been given the task that will ultimately change the world as we live in. I get to be the one to take down Norman Lucky. Although maybe it should be someone else. Someone that actually gave their life for this country. However, my hope is a bit higher now. I'll come home a hero if this works. I'll write back to you soon. I love you. John. you sick monster. Welcome, my men. As you know, the Americans have taken over our last outpost. Some of you might think it's time to surrender, but we will not. I expect each and every one of you to fight until you can't no more. For well, this is not just for the greater good of the world, but for you and the future generations to come. Standing in front of me is multiple U.S. citizens that will undergo the ultimate sacrifice. Dear God, please help me hit this shot. If you stand against me at this time, I hope you speak out. wait to make a difference for the first time in my life. I feel like I could have done more. However, I must push forward for my men. I get to be the one to take down Norman Lucky. 
Although maybe it should be someone else. Someone that actually gave their life for this country.